Hi everyone, Rhonda here. And this isn't really gonna be a haul or anything. This is actually going to be me trying to find out from anyone else is as a, a medical procedure if they went through it. Okay, now get that out of the way. Let me go ahead and put this down or something back or whatever, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, so what I'm thinking about is that I've had a VSC, a VS, a VSG surgery, which is a vertical sleeve gastrectomy in October 29th of 2019. Now, what that means is they took out about 90% of my stomach, which helped me in turn lose 105 pounds. And thank the Lord for that because it has helped me immensely. So, but at the time I have, I did have a hyenial hernia. Now I, he not, he, my surgeon, my bariatric surgeon at the time said that it was very small and that he didn't really see a need to fix it. Prior to this though, I had been doctoring with him and he, telling him that I do have to take medication for heartburn. They all knew this because I do have a lot of heartburn. Anyways, that was a year to almost a year and a half ago. Okay, I get approved. I do my VSG. It's wonderful. It's working. I've healed. Thank you, Lord. Everything is good with that. I, I would recommend if anyone needs to go and sort of and do a weight loss surgery, I would recommend a, a sleeve surgery, a vertical sleeve gastrectomy. I would. And, you know, I was 57 when I had it done, so it's not that scary. I mean, it is when you're contemplating it, but once you get through it and you heal, you will feel 100% better. And you will, it does help you to not eat a lot of excess food. You eat the foods that you need. And thank God. Anyways, I mean, you still can eat junk, you know, like this right here. You still can eat these. Oh, yeah. You can eat junk, but you got to be very, very, very careful. Because as fast as the weight went off, it could probably come back on. Okay. Put that all aside. This is not why I'm on here with the, with the vertical gastrectomy surgery. Uh, what I'm on here for is to find out is if anyone out there that has a vertical, a VSG surgery, if they actually know what, okay, if they've had a procedure or know about the procedure, a Lynx procedure, L-I-N-X procedure. What that procedure is, and this is what it's about, and I just got all the paperwork here, it is understanding reflux disease. I have had continually heart, continuing heartburn since the day I woke up from my surgery, never went away. It was always there. Um, and it doesn't seem to get any better. Excuse me. It just, it's getting worse. And so in December, I went in for an endoscope and a colonoscopy. And of course, thank goodness, the, the colonoscopy, everything came back great with that. The endoscope though, he did put place what they call a Bravo uh, instrument in here in my esophagus area that would measure the pH in my, like in the stomach and esophagus area. And I had a little thing that I had to, like a recorder that every time I would feel horrible indigestion or reflux or anything, I was to push the buttons. And so I did that, I did that and I followed through. Well, my, my Bravo um, meter or whatever is 53. Now they said that's kind of very high and I just don't know how to measure it or what, I don't know what it, you know, if it, anyways, it said it's very high. So what he did was he referred me back to my bariatric surgeon and I went back to him. The gastroenterologist referred me back to the, to the bariatric. I went back to him and 
I told him, I said, doctor, I'm still having issues, you know, normally. Now, this is what I have been told. And I know of a person that has had this, that they, he had his sleeve done 10 years ago and he suffered for the last 10 years with nothing but re reflux and GERD and everything. And he said that his doctors finally about a year ago went in and they did what they call a revision on his sleeve and did a bypass, the actual gastric bypass. And that they say helps with the reflux and the GERD and everything, which I probably should have had done in the first place. That's kind of what I've been thinking. And, and I keep thinking, why didn't he do that? I, you know, I like my surgeon, don't get me wrong. He's an excellent surgeon. I just don't understand what it was for him to decide the sleeve and not the bypass. That's what I'm saying here. And another thing is now I have to go back through a major surgery again to have this Lynx procedure done. I am very scared and nervous. Actually, I would almost rather go back and have the revision. Uh, consult anyone out there that has had the, the VSG and went on and had the revision be, and because of reflux or GERD, please let me know. Or anyone that has actually had a VSG and has this Lynx procedure, please let me know because I really need some of my my questions answered and and I need to feel feel like I'm doing the right thing. Um, I've asked for a second opinion from another bariatric surgeon. I don't know how that's gonna be with my first bari bariatric surgeon because he said I really didn't need another opinion that I just needed to get this done. <laughs> I don't know what to do, guys. Anyways, I know this is so off topic for me. I'm usually doing a Dollar Tree haul or some sort of DIY. Um, but I am asking for people, if they would, that has actually went through this, if they could at least comment about it, if they would do it again, if they, how, how it works for them. Um, I just, I'm a little scared because it is a major surgery. They have to go back through where they did the um, the actual taking out of the, the stomach and that, and the, the laparoscopic scars. And I'm not too excited about that. I, I'm really, I would be, I think, if it was going on to actually do the bypass, because I think the bypass will help me in the long run with, um, maintaining weight loss and also losing to get to uh the one goal that he has really wanted me to get to which i'm about 15 to 20 pounds away from so i do think that he you know that might benefit so but yet i know there are a lot of side effects with the gastric bypass also and i know that that's what he's concerned about too so it's just i don't know either way i go I'm gonna have to probably go go back to sleep and get worked on, cut on. <laughs> I don't like to talk like that, but you know what I mean. Get surgery, surgery, and I'm not a big. I don't really. I'm so not wanting to do a surgery anymore. But anyways, so if anyone could actually tell me what they think and what their feelings are about it, and just keep me in your prayers. I know God does take good care of us and, you know, he will make sure everything's fine. I know that. So, but anyways, just let me know, put it down in your comp, put it down in my comments and, and I'll get back with you. Thank you guys. Appreciate y'all. Take good care. Bye-bye.